I know you. I don't miss you. Uh, what kind of hairstyle is this? Hmm? Did you branch at the barber shop yesterday? Uh, I should have gone for your normal hairstyle. Uh, uh, I wonder this kind of hairstyle. Uh, so I see. There's nothing to worry about. Eh? <laughs> There's nothing. Uh, let me be on my way. I'm already late. Yes. Eh? So, take care. Yes. Oh, my bag. Sir, the content of this letter says that my service is no longer required, sir. Yes. Please see the accountants. Your three months' salary in lieu of notice will be sent to your accounts. But, sir, what, what did I do wrong, sir? I have been so much dedicated and faithful and so much committed to this company, sir. Mr. Larry Alberto, that letter in your hands has been worded in a simple and understandable way. Please. Take your leave. And don't forget, drop all the properties of the company with you, with your head of departments, including your identity card. After 12 and a half years of dedicated and committed service, with no single query, I should just go.
position now, sir? How is she doing now, sir? Mr. Larry, your wife is recuperating fast. She's responding to treatment. But um, she lost the baby. Oh, uh, the baby was BID. What is that? Oh, I mean, the baby was already dead before your wife was brought in here. <sighs> My goodness. Ah, but there's something strange we discovered again while we were trying to bring out the dead photos. Something strange you said? Doctor, what is that again? I discovered that uh, a big fibroid has developed inside her, which was even responsible for the death of the baby. And uh, it will need a special attention. I mean, a special surgery. Which cannot be done now, of course. We cannot be done with the evacuation that we have just done. So we have to take our time to do it. Fine product. How did you come about it? How? Honestly, that I cannot explain to you now. I don't know it myself. But what I can only advise now is uh, just go and look for money. So that we can carry out that uh, operation within the next two or three days and uh, have a successful evacuation of the fibroid as well to save the life of your wife. <sighs> Money. My God will provide. But Larry, yes, you have not told me what you actually did that made the company to sack you. I didn't do anything. Huh? Auntie, I did not do anything. Just got to work on Monday. And the letter of the termination of the appointment was given to me. That's all. Just like that? Like that, oh. <sighs> anyway, what about your wife? How is her condition? Huh? She's still in the hospital. She needs to undergo another surgery to remove the fibroid. And that is why I said I need your financial assistance. I need money. But Larry, don't you think this issue of your retrenchment and your wife losing the baby, plus sudden discovery of fibroid, are more spiritual than physical? Hmm? And see, here you come again. Everything is spiritual. Everything is spiritual. What is spiritual about that? It is just... You know, all these things are just coincidence. That's all. There's nothing spiritual about that. I hope one of these days, Auntie, you will not turn to spiritual. Everything spiritual is spiritual. Uh -uh. <laughs> what I need now is money, Auntie. I need money to get that woman out of the hospital. That's all. <laughs> anyway, if you say so. Hey, Auntie, it is so. <sighs> okay. Package white envelope, sorry, <laughs> spiritual envelope. <laughs> Come on, guys, thank you, guys. Let me go. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Take it to the pharmacy and collect your drugs. Okay, sir. And see me in the next two weeks. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Alright. Don't bless me. Sorry, huh? Yes, sir. Ah, what else, sir? Ah, Mr. Larry. Ah, thank you, sir. <sighs> sir, I have paid in the money, sir. I will ask my people to prepare the theater now. Better. 
uh, when I was going through the records of your wife after the evaporation, I discovered that the scan you brought didn't show any sign of uh, fibroid. So how the fibroid came to be was still a miracle, it was still a surprise. Doctor, I, I think you are in the best position to answer that question, sir. Uh, yes, because that's what we discovered inside of her. And, uh, I mean, the scan did not discover that uh, fibroid before the evacuation and the fibroid just developed suddenly to the extent of killing the baby and forcing us to evacuate the dead fetus. I think it's more of spiritual than physical. Spiritual? Yeah. Doctor, please you have to explain that because I don't understand that. Uh, you see, Mr. Larry, what I mean by, by spiritual is this. When I was praying this morning, I saw a revelation concerning your wife. And that's why I conclude that it must be a spiritual attack. Spiritual attack. Anyway, the Lord is in control. Okay? You just go and be praying. You can stay at the reception. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. 
write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. I shall follow you. I shall follow you for the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving my life. For saving my life. Now I will pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you so much for this one. Thank you for throwing this one to yourself again. Father, I ask that you uphold them to the end in the name of Jesus. Amen. As they are surrendering their lives unto you today, God will take care of them Amen. every day of their lives. Amen. And the devil will not have any hand in their lives again. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you so much, Lord my God. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll have faith. Amen. Congratulations, Father. Yeah. And my brother, congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Now, you will be discharged now. I know that from now, eh, bro. Mm-hmm. You will be discharged. And I will ask the nurse to come and give you your medication. As soon as you go back home. But uh, just like you have said now, you know, what happened to you was more of spiritual than physical or medical. So I uh, would suggest, if you don't mind, if you can come with me to the church and see my pastor, who will be able to give you more spiritual guidance and pray more for you and monitor you and disciple you. Okay. I will meet me in the house tomorrow and I will take you to the pastor. Tomorrow will be better. No problem. So I will ask the nurse to give you the medication. So I will give you the charge there. Thank you. Thank you. It is well with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. Yes, go. Ah. The man I told you I wanted to marry, but refused to marry me, has gotten married to another lady, and she is heavily pregnant now. And you still have not done anything about it till now. You mean the one you said you love? Yes, Baba. And he did not want you? Yes. <laughs> Do you still need him? Yes. I still need him. But if I can't have him, I want him to be punished for not looking at my side. I want you to punish him and his wife. Are you saying his wife is heavily pregnant? Yes, ma'am. And he too is gainfully employed? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they will have double trouble. Double trouble? Yes, double trouble. How, ma'am? <laughs> the assignment will be given to double emistress. I mean, demonic Baba and demonic Ketra. Yes. See, don't, don't, there is no problem. Okay. This is so. Why, Billy Bob? Don't worry. Don't worry. That is the revelation God showed me as we were praying. And the Lord made me to understand that that is the source of your problem. The root cause of the battles confronting you. You see, you lost your job the day after that demonic battle shaped part of your day. And that same day, your wife was fed to things by a demonic communicator. 
which led to the sudden fibroid that, that developed inside her, which doctor discovered. It was the fibroid that choked life out of the baby inside her. But this, this is funny because I was never interested in that lady. I never talked to her that I even like her. Not to talk of wanting her to be my wife. So what's the problem? So is this stupid lady that told me all this? May he never be well with her. May God will strike her with thunder and fire. Papa, uh -huh. sister. That's too much. You don't have to place a curse on her. She has cost me a lot, Pastor. Sister, let God fight your battles for you. You know you are not a child of God. <laughs> eh? Please. Though you are not interested in her. But she was interested in you. She wanted you to marry her by all means. And that's why she did what she did. What? Uh, prayer is still the master key. So, I want us to intensify our prayers. And I'm, I know, and I'm sure, God will give us victory. Amen. Let's be on our feet. So, we are going to pray. We are going to shout this prayer loud and clear. So every arrow of wickedness. Every, every arrow, arrow of wickedness. Fire into my life. Fire into my life. Backfire by fire. Fire, 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 fire. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow of wickedness. I'm fired against you. Backfire by fire. 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 Backfire by fire.